Hello, hello! This is Future Whimsy here, and welcome to the beginning of my Minecraft Let's Play experience. When I first began this series, I picked out a spawn using creative mode, one with a beautiful swamp surrounded by coral reef. In a moment, you'll see me recreate that seed in survival and begin this journey. But first, I wanted to thank you guys for watching, and I wanted to welcome you to the channel, where we revel in everything that sandbox games and survival crafting games have to offer. Now, with that little intro out of the way, let's get to creating the world, shall we? All right, ready? Create new world, go. And let's hope I put in the seed correctly and that we're gonna be in the swamp surrounded by the coral reef. It's loading in and yes, it looks like, okay. I am so pumped. This is such a cool place to start, all right. The obligatory punching of the trees, of course, is the first thing we're going to do here in this brand new Minecraft survival series. So let's let us do that. Um, let us get some preliminary wood. Oh, God, I'm excited. I really hope that there are sheep because um, I would like to skip the night. There were sheep in the creative version, but obviously that does not mean that we'll that sheep will spawn in the survival version. Um, Kind of random, I think. What spawns? I see cows over there in the corner. Hello, cow. I will murder you shortly. Um, but let's see. Yes, sheep would be nice. If if there are no sheep before nightfall, I'm probably just gonna hop on a boat and <laughs> because I don't want to deal with a swamp at night with no armor and no resources and no food. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Sheep. No, that's a chicken. God damn it. Okay, you know what, chicken? You are now my enemy because you look like sheep and you're not sheep. You're fake sheep. I'm upset. I will come burn down your home later. This island. Hold on. Coordinates. Okay, what we're looking at right now. This island will burn. Once I have the resources for island pillaging, this island will burn. All right? Got it? Got that? Okay, are you sufficiently afraid? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. All in a day's work. Okay, I love this huge flower forest. Holy crap. But, um, it doesn't have any sheep. It doesn't have any sheep. Although, if I were to... <laughs> if I, oh, I see scaries over there. If I were to watch back this footage, watch back, I would not be surprised if I kept seeing sheep in the frame that I did not notice, so... Um, hi, spider by spider. Okay. Okay. This is upsetting me. Wait, is that a sheep? Is it? I see something white in the grass. But I've been fooled before. That is. That is a sheep. Okay, let's avoid this spider. Let's get ahead of it. And then let's get to safety after we murder. Murder! Die! Just die already! Why do you take so many hits with the axe? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anything around me? The spider's way over there. Okay, um, 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 maybe I should, I don't know, go somewhere safer. I feel very, I feel very exposed right now. Okay, stop wasting time being paranoid. Just, just put down the crafting bench, make the bed. Why, why is it, why, I, I know, I know the recipe. Why, wait, I know the recipe. What am I doing? Okay, um, oh, that's why I don't have, okay. Okay, 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 uh, <laughs> okay. Sleep. We did it! We did it! Okay. Um. Yay. Time to murder some animals. Oh, okay. Hi, creeper. I will take you on, even though it's a bad idea. Still don't have any armor. Okay. That was a horrible noise, and I'm really sorry. But we got the Monster Hunter achievement and some gunpowder. Cool. Um, I should probably be careful because there could just be creepers around still, and they could sneak up on me, and that would not be good. Um, also, you guys have been for... I know how to talk. Take two. Um... I was having audio issues, guys, or, guys, earlier, and I just listened back to the previous clip. Everything is good, but there will be a chance that I'll record something, it'll be going great, and then I'll listen back, and then the audio stinks. So I was like, instead of rage quitting, if that happens, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is if that happens, and hopefully it won't, 
I will still use that footage and I will dub over it absolutely ridiculously. Okay? How, how, is, that, is that okay with you guys? <laughs> and hopefully that won't happen for anything too important or like too, like, like this huge discovery where you'd want the response to be kind of organic. Um, but, you know, we'll take... We'll take it as it comes, whatever happens, and worst case scenario, we get some hilarious dubs. Um, maybe I'll have my boyfriend, like, act as me or something silly, ridiculous, if he, if I can bully him enough into do agreeing to that. Um, <laughs> but again, we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's if it's necessary. Let's really hope that everything goes well. <gasps> Guys! Guys! Okay, so this over here is our our birch biome. I'm on the other side of it, and the thing the thing that I was literally just thinking would be awesome to find, a witch hut. Look what we have here. And I'm actually really glad this isn't in the swamp that we have, um, that we're doing our starter base, because I don't want the witch hut loaded all of the time. But having another one this close by, this is super awesome. I am not going to take on that witch right now. <laughs> But we will eventually come and slaughter ourselves some witches. In the meantime, ooh, I'm going to go over there because I want that stone. And we might actually be able to find some coal. Um, but yeah. Yay! All right, and we are back here at our home swamp now. As you can see, I've done a little bit of starter base things. Um, all that sugar cane we collected is over here. The sheep have been captured. And I take I took multiple trips over there to the birch um, area, and I've, I've gathered like a lot of preliminary supplies, including, as you can see here in my inventory, some dirt and some gravel. The reason for that is that I want to start experimenting with how we can vary up textures. Now we don't have a lot of resources yet. We're we're not going to be going crazy, but we can at least start laying down some. Um, texturization that we can add to later. Eventually we're gonna have some cobble in here. I have some cobble now, I could probably get that started. Maybe some mossy cobble, I'll have some raised bits. A lot of things to just make this look more interesting and less flat. So, um, I think that's kind of what I feel motivated to do right now. So I'm gonna get started. A lot of that will be off camera because you know, it isn't that interesting to just watch me place blocks, right? <laughs> so a lot of that will be off camera, but I will show you guys some progress in a minute and cue time skip and we're back guys so i have texture take three i have texturized the ground here um take the okay all right guys and we are back so i have texturized the ground here as you can see i think it makes it just look so much more nice and naturey and pretty obviously it is limited by the fact that you could like see beyond it to all the, the parts that aren't done. Um, I've only done a very small section for a couple reasons. I just kind of wanted to get a sample of, of the general idea. Um, we don't have all the resources we're going to probably put into this. I'm definitely going to make some more tweaks. But what I like about this is it also starts to um, give me some, some inspiration for how I can kind of incorporate some things naturalistically. For example, a little trap door could be buried in a little stone um, pile, right? A little stone pile. And that trap door could lead down to our mine shaft. So just, just give me lots of lots of ideas for what to kind of do with this area to incorporate the different starter base things we're going to need. Um, so I think now that I've mentioned mine shaft, I just, I really love mining and it's got me, it's given me the itch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to land in lava, aren't I? I'm totally just going to land. I do have a bucket. I do have a bucket. So that could be the thing that saves us. Oh, oh my god. Okay. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was not nice. Okay. That's enough of that digging straight down. Also, I don't have, like, I could make an iron pickaxe, but... Um, I'm just going to dig around this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that was terrifying. How many times must I record clip? How many times? How many times have the Fire Nation destroyed our villages? How long <laughs> must we wait for the one who stand against the light? How long will we suffer? 
All right, guys. Hi. Um, we are at the bottom of our mine shaft. That I. What? Stop talking. <laughs> I've been. I have tried to record this clip so many times, <laughs> and my boyfriend just keeps making noise. Um. <laughs> so hi, guys. We are now at the bottom of our mine shaft. It goes all the way up to the top there. Um, if I sound a little loopy, it's because I've tried recording this clip so many times. You have no idea. So we're just going to go with this. No matter how messy, no matter how silly, no matter how many interruptions, this clip will be the clip. This will be the transition from me building the mine shaft up to the swamp to me carving out this room. Um, and this room is going to have our many branches for branch mining. I love branch mining. Um, and a lot of people find it boring and I'll definitely not be doing most of it on camera because it is kind of boring to watch. But it definitely is not boring to do. Branch mining is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. It's why I always make a mine like really early on when I make a new world. There's just something very satisfying about it. There's just something very satisfying about all the resources you get, all the discoveries you make. Branch mining is how I found a lot of cave systems with spawners and past worlds. Um, and there's just something satisfying about just kind of like vibing and just mining <laughs> it's very relaxing so i am going to carve out this room and then we will begin our first branches so that went well as you can see i carved out a little room here after which i went on quite a mining binge i had a run-in with some mobs <laughs> but don't worry i mostly tried to avoid caves for now um, as they can be more entertaining to potentially do on camera than branch mining I made a couple of discoveries, actually, that I saved for later. And of course, I have to mention diamonds. I found a lot of diamonds. I only mined out the first few. Um, the rest I left to be mined later once I have the fortune or silk touch enchantments. So that'll be exciting. I got so into mining that I actually needed to expand our little room here. And then I got right back out there and started mining again. And now we're back, guys. Um, I found so many resources, as you can see here. I went mining for, like, days. <laughs> many recording sessions of mining. I got a little carried away. But that's a good thing, because this is a good sort of start on getting resources. We'll definitely need all of these later. Also, the more I mine, the more likely we are to find a dungeon spawner or something like that um at some point we'll definitely be exploring that abandoned mine shaft to find potentially sp some spawners and some other loot but for right now i think we're going to call it good for episode one this has been so much fun guys again me doing a let's play has been a dream in the making i don't know if i said that earlier but it really has and this has been such a fun first episode to record I will see you guys in episode two. I am so psyched. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you liked this video, leave a comment down below uh, if you'd like to. And thank you again. I'll see you next episode and have a great day. Bonus clip. Don't. No. 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 Hatred. Absolute hatred. I don't function well.